good afternoon. Um, well, first of all, I, I would like to thank Presenza for inviting us to this workshop. Um, I am here like a humanist organization World Without Wars and Violence, and we have been committed in, for decades in the non-violence struggles. And based on our experience, we came to some conclusion that we would like to share. So about the experience of the protest against the US military radar release in Czech Republic, it is something interesting because it was successful, so there is some hope in, <laughs> in all this situation of weapons and it seems so in, in, impossible to do anything. Uh, as you probably know, there were agreements between Gorbachev and Reagan in the uh, 80s and the US government formally abandoned uh, the so-called uh, missile defense project. But then in 2002, uh, the administration of Bush uh, unilaterally withdrew from the IBM treaty and they restarted uh, this old project. So they started uh, like some um, very um, secret negotiations with the Polish and Czech government uh, about to install the um, radar base in Czech Republic and missile bells in uh, Poland. And uh, somehow some organizations in Czech Republic, we discovered these negotiations going on and in 2006 uh, we started uh, like a very very long uh, popular protest uh, uh, which started in 2006 and the promoters of this protest were three small organizations and after uh, there are around 30 more organizations joined and uh, it started like uh, the movement which we call Neza Kladnam in Czech and it's known to the basis movement. This movement was uh, very intense and it was many activities going on for all three years it was like starting to become uh, bigger and bigger and uh, all the people were like discussing these topics and uh, uh, they were like the, the popular pool, the pools were saying that 70% of the population was against this installation of the US base. Uh, well, it was growing so it was in the end it was like a big movement and uh, for sure the government uh, had a big problem with us and so they started a uh, very expensive uh, campaign that they, they paid 15 million of Czech crowns uh, and they were paying the mayors of the, the, the places, the villages, small villages around and they were trying to corrupt them, they were promising a lot of things and, and so uh, this was uh, very interesting but in that moment uh, there was a situation in the Czech government that Social Democratic Party and the Communists were in the opposition and they wanted to use this movement uh, for um, taking out the government. And so in that moment they gave us some space in the, in the media because it was convenient for them. Uh, but anyway, this protest was continuing and uh, they were, it was like going out from only Czech Republic. So it was spreading beyond national borders with the campaign Europe for Peace. Uh, which was initiative supported by several peace and non-violent organizations and over the world and also famous people like Gorbachev, uh, Chomsky and the mayor of Hiroshima uh, were like between some of the famous people that were supporting the campaign. But anyway, the, the government in Czech Republic continuing uh, to ignore this 70% of population against it and were continuing with the negotiation with US administration. In that moment, uh, because it was very strong, uh, in May 2008, uh, two members of the Humanist Party, Jan Tamas and Jan Bednar, uh, started a, a hunger strike, and they were in hunger strike for 21 days to achieving the referendum about this issue in Czech Republic. This was very interesting what happened in the society, because uh, like finally all the people which were not expressing themselves uh, about the issue. With this hunger strike, many people stood up and they expressed their opposition. So there were intellectuals, there were like politicians, artists, scientists. Like really it took all the society to be active about, about this issue. At this moment, uh, it was a, a, for sure a difficult moment because at this point supporting politicians and the media changed completely their attitude because it was becoming too, too big and too important and uh, too serious. So they stopped giving space uh, to the protests and uh, began a real campaign of denigration and lies. 
And here is uh, only two small examples how it uh, was reported in the media about the protest. So they were always choosing some terrible face <laughs> and, and uh, reporting. So all the reports were like this and uh, uh, was very hard. The most common themes were that uh, back on, of this all protests is some Russian organiz uh, some Russian money or organization from Islam and and they were everything saying. But anyway, the protest continuing uh, and uh, it was spreading uh, through Europe and it was also joining like European Parliament in Brussels. Well, so in this uh, very hot atmosphere, the contradiction within the ruling majority broke out in the uh, Czech Republic uh, and in May 2009, this led to the fall of the government. And so the government, it was impossible to sign the treaty with US. And in September then, Obama abandoned, abandoned the project. So for us, this was a great victory for democracy. It was the interesting part that when uh, the Social Democratic Party wanted to use this uh, protest for taking out the government, there were space in some media. But after, it was mu much bigger than they wanted, so everything stopped and the lies and manipulation started very, strong very strongly. And in Europe uh, 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 and the rest of the world, the story was almost ignored. Uh, although it was issue not of local dimension, it was very important for Europe and for all the situation, but it was ignored. Uh, and we observed that, well, uh, it was clear intention not to give the importance to this issue. Of course, there were exceptions, like uh, different small free media, and uh, also Russia Today and TV Art. But uh, the fact that the plans for US Star Wars were changed by the protests of people from such a small country, for sure it was not information that any financial group would like to support and spread. Well, here we are going to another topic. So this was a successful story and we, were, we, we believe that it's unfortunately not known very much. Uh, I don't know how...